In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the Nano VNA. When you purchase the Nano VNA, you would have received the Nano VNA. Also, these two short coaxial lines with SMA connectors. Also, the SMA barrel that you see here, the female barrel on both sides, our stylus, and three terminal caps, one of which is an open where the center conductor does not make contact. The other of which is a short, which has a center conductor and shield making contact, and then a 50 ohm load. We're going to attach the barrel here to port one or S11 so we can start our calibration. Now that we have the cables connected, the first step to any calibration is to choose our stimulus. So in our case, that's going to be the frequency bandwidth that we want to measure. To do that, we'll go ahead and press the stylus on the screen, press stimulus, and we'll start, and we're gonna enter 400 M or megahertz. Then we'll press the display again and select our stop as 950 megahertz. This will be a nice wide range to work with when measuring our DUT or device under test. Okay, our next step is we're going to touch the screen with the stylus and press the calibrate button. Next, we're going to press the reset button and you'll notice here on the left hand side, you'll see the letters P and A in red. Next, we'll press calibrate and we're going to notice here that we have an open, short, load, isolation, through, and then done. We're gonna take each one of these in series one at a time. So before we press open, we need to connect our open terminal to the S11 port here at the end of our coaxial line. So we'll go ahead and connect that. Now that we've connected that terminal, we'll go ahead and press open. And you'll notice that a blue line goes across the screen, calibrating the open, and then the next one is selected, which is short. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that terminal cap and add the short. Okay, now that the short is added, we'll go ahead and press short here and let that calibrate. And when that is complete, the next one will highlight, which is load. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the short terminal and add the load now. Okay, the 50 ohm load has been added. So let's go ahead and press load and let that complete. Okay, after load, now we have to do the isolation calibration. For this one, we're going to remove the 50 ohm load and the SMA barrel and attach that to port S21. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we've attached the 50 ohm load and barrel to port S21, we can go ahead and press isolation and let that complete. Okay, isolation is complete. Next, we're going to connect port one and port two or port S11 and port S21 together here with our two cables and join them. And then we'll go ahead and press through. Okay, now that we've completed the through calibration, our next step is we're going to press done. And notice here, that we have all of these different slots or choices where we can save the preset. To save our preset, we simply need to choose one of the choices. If this is the first time that you've calibrated the Nano VNA, you'll notice that these will say empty. Go ahead and choose one that you wanna work with here. For my stimulus, I've chosen 400 megahertz and 950 megahertz. So I'll choose number one here and save that. Once you calibrate for a stimulus or bandwidth, any measurement that you make on that bandwidth, you simply just recall the preset so you don't need to recalibrate each time. However, if you do change your stimulus to a new frequency bandwidth, you'll need to complete the calibration. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet so you can be notified about future videos on this series and others. 
and we'll see you soon.